Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Pulse Cologne. Today we're gonna to be talking about a fragrance I just picked up from a house you're probably not expecting. That's Bath and Body Works Coffee and Whiskey. All right, so a quick little backstory here. I need to explain to everybody what I was doing at Bath and Body Works at the mall by myself. Uh, there is a story, trust me. So I, I'm a part of a bunch of Facebook groups, fragrance groups, and I like hearing what people are talking about, what they're into, all that kind of stuff. And I got a hot tip that there was a new fragrance at Bath & Body Works called Coffee & Whiskey, which sounds like my jam, and I had no idea that Bath & Body Works even made fragrances. Like, I never go to this place. I may have been there the last time, it was like a couple years ago to get my sister a bath bomb for her birthday or something like that. No reason for me to be in that store as far as I'm concerned, but there was this time, and that was to pick up the coffee and whiskey style fragrance. I sampled it in the store, gave it a whiff, walked around for a bit, and I, I just had to go back and get it. And this was like $42 Canadian, which I think converts to like a buck 50 US. I'll, I'll leave the real price here because I'm not doing the math in my head right now. But I thought this was absolutely worth the purchase. So I scooped it up, and let's take a look at what this fragrance is all about. All right, so there you have it. That is Bath & Body Works Coffee & Whiskey. Presentation on this, nothing special, pretty straight to the point bottle. Thick glass, pretty good plastic cap, has the logo on the top. Atomizer on this is kind of meh. It's, it's not the greatest in the world. You kind of have to like double pump this in order to get like a full spray's worth. But the fragrance in here is exactly what you think it'd be. It's coffee, it's whiskey, and there's a little bit of other additional sweetness to this, like a vanilla that comes through. But what this really kind of gives me the vibe of is like an Irish up coffee, like almost like an Irish cream style coffee is what I'm getting from this. And it's beautiful. It's a really nice, smooth scent profile that comes through with this. The whiskey in this, it does come through, but I don't find it to be like a very overly boozy style whiskey. I get a little bit more like the blend of the coffee with that whiskey, with that sweetness. So I don't get too much of one or the other. And like I said, the booziness in this is not like over the top. It's not like a Bentley for Men intense style booziness to this. It's a lot tamer in that sense. And the coffee note is not like a, like a almost signature kind of coffee note. It's a little bit tamer as well. What this really reminds me of is like when you walk into kind of like an old bookstore Store, or even like a Chapters Indigo style bookstore that has like a Starbucks or like a cafe in it where you get that that coffee smell in the air with like some sweetness in the air and sort of that warm, cozy, inviting, comfortable sort of environment, atmosphere. That's the vibe I get from this. This is exactly what it feels like. It feels like going to a bookstore with a cafe that's in it. It's, it's like I said, it's very warm, it's very cozy, very inviting and it's just a delicious scent profile. I really enjoy this. This is definitely a unisex fragrance in my opinion. I think both men and women can rock this, no problem. I don't think it leans more masculine and I don't think it leans more feminine. I think it kind of sits right in the middle, straddles that line just perfect enough that anybody can pull this off without batting an eye. So men and women definitely pull this off. And for the men that are kind of worried about that when they hear like unisex fragrance and that like women can pull this off too, there's nothing about this that's should be a concern if you wanted to try this out, but that's just my opinion. I have no problem with this. I think it's a beautiful scent profile. Now in terms of longevity, I've actually been sneaking wares of this because it is getting towards the end of summer. So the days are still pretty warm, but the evenings, especially where I live, they really cool down really quick. So it has been really cool and brisk in the in the evenings. So when I'm out, I, I admit I wear bedtime fragrances too. So. Whatever, some people make fun of that. If you do, you could roast me in the comments for wearing bedtime fragrances. I do it, I don't, I don't really care. And it, it, hey, if you're one of my people that wears bedtime fragrances, you know, shout out in the comment section below too, because like, yo, Post, we, we wear bedtime fragrances too. We need to stay strong because people always roast me for wearing a bedtime fragrance. And I just don't care, I like it. But when I'm out walking my dogs in the evening, after I've applied this, after my, like, my evening shower, I'll put this on, I'll walk my dogs at night, nice and cool, nice and brisk out, and it just, fits, it fits those cool evenings, it fits that cool weather, and it has that fall winter style vibe to it. So it's a definitely a fall winter style fragrance for me. And in terms of longevity, because I'm wearing this in the evening, I'm able to kind of test out how long this is gonna last. So I put this on, you know, maybe an hour before I go to bed, and when I wake up in the morning, I can still smell this. Like I'll put some on my arm or my hand usually, and I wake up in the morning and I'm still getting that hint of that coffee and whiskey coming off. So it's not pushing off like crazy at that point, but it gets a good seven, eight hours on my skin, and 
I'm quite happy about that. I did not expect that from like a mall fragrance from Bath and Body Works. I did not expect the longevity to be like that. I figured it might be a two, three hour ride and it'd be just like, oh, that was super fun. Like that was a delicious smell and fragrance, but now it's over and I have to reapply or move on to something else. No, not at all. This, this stuck around for a while. Thoroughly enjoyed that it does that. In terms of projection, this doesn't blast off my skin, but it does like in the first hour in a bit, it does push off pretty good. Like I could, I walked out of my office and came back in like an hour later after I applied this and it was still in the air. It was still doing fairly well. So performance on this, really impressed. I was really, really impressed with how this performed. Like I said, this is not a beast mode fragrance. This is not gonna blow out the entire room unless you go absolutely crazy on the sprays. But the performance for the price point you pay, like I said, about $42, 30 US, Great steal of a deal. You can go to, if you have a bed and ba a bath and body works in your country, city, town, wherever, I would suggest going in there, giving this a test. They do have sampler bottles, tester bottles there. You can check it out and get your nose on this. See what you think, because I think you really might like it. And that is bath and body works, coffee and whiskey. All right, so there you have it. That is Bath & Body Works coffee and whiskey. Let me know, have you guys tried any other fragrances from Bath & Body Works? Cause I didn't, I just went in there straight simply for this and I was like, I don't know why I was maybe a little bit embarrassed. I just wanted to kind of get in and out and get my, my coffee fragrance or whatever. So I didn't try the other ones, but I did see other ones there. Have you tried any of them or any of them good? Like, should I go back and like test some of these out? Let me know down in the comments below. Click on the comment box. Let me know if there's like some banger Bath & Body Works fragrances that I'm totally missing out on. So. Do that, leave a comment, I wanna hear from you guys. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.